Okay, quick bit of news. I've just seen that Jose has uh, released the Vulcan driver on PyKiss. So that means it's super easy to install. So all you need to do, if you've already got PyKiss, uh, is do an update. So if I go to the PyKiss folder and go to Tools, Open Current Folder in Terminal, right click and paste that in. That will then update as quick as that. Uh, and now if we run PyKiss, so we go to System Tools and PyKiss, and then you can see also under Emulators he's got PPSSPP, which is excellent, really, really nice to see on there. Uh, and if we go down to Configure, I think it was. Yeah, uh, Compile Update Vulkan Mesa Driver. So, what else is there? SSID. And he's changing this all the time, so it's worth updating uh, very regularly, or just check his YouTube channel, because it looks like uh, he mentions everything on there, but also everything seems to be really well up to date in this GitHub, so you can see like, every day pretty much something's happening. And if we go up to the top, so added emulator, improve Vulkan compilation is compatible with Twister OS. So you can use it for Diablo 1 in Twister OS, it looks like as well, so I'll have to have a look at that. And this takes a while, but uh, but it's worth doing. And uh, obviously, as as things come along that support the Vulcan driver, we're going to see a massive boost in performance. Okay, so all of that installed absolutely fine. And uh, I've also installed the PPSSPP, uh, so the PSP emulator on here as well, which is great because this is one of the best emulators on Pi. Uh, and also, I had a video ages ago of how to install it, but you had to jump through a few hoops this installs perfectly and now it has some support for Vulkan drivers. Now it's not full support for Vulkan drivers and they're, they're in a very early stage uh, but uh, but it's it's working and it's a it's a big start. It'd be lovely to see Redream added to this list uh, because Redream, the Dreamcast emulator, is one of the best emulators uh, on Raspberry Pi as well. Uh, really really great and also PlayStation as well, ordinary PlayStation, I love on uh, on Pi. Anyway, so let's go to, I've got a wired Xbox 360 controller, so let's go to games, you can see I've got some games here, and uh, let's, I haven't tried Little Big, I haven't tried Little Big Planet yet, so let's have a look at that. I've got sound coming through my Bluetooth speaker. Oh, and just to show, uh, if I press escape and go to settings, Backend Vulkan. So you can see there you've got OpenGL or Vulkan. So I've ticked Vulkan, uh, you can change that. And you can also do all sorts with this. Now if you want the image to look better, if you change this to two times PSP, it depends on the game as to whether this will work well or not. Uh, and there's all sorts of other things you can you can change in there. There's some speed up things here like switch those on. As I say, I haven't, I haven't even tried this yet, so let's Start that up. I've always wanted to try it. Oh, the graphics look nice. And it feels smooth. Yeah, definitely feels smooth. So you can see it's a little bit juddery, so let's have a look and see if one times uh, makes that better. Of course, at this early stage it's hard to know which bits are better or worse. Yeah, so that's a little bit less juddery. You see it's not as sharp. Have I got a duck? Can I make that? Oh. I'm not even, it doesn't even touch me. I'm thinking, can I get under there? See, even, I, I'd be happy to leave this on one times PSP. Uh, what you can do as well is uh, if I go to settings and there is a full screen. I thought I had it on full screen. There you go. So full screen. Uh, and also, if you up that resolution, so say four, which is obviously super high. Look how good that looks. Yeah, it's uh, it's not smooth, still playable, um, but uh, it's incredibly crisp. Look at the detail on the character. 
and you could probably go in between that so you could probably uh, probably three's still ambitious definitely dependent on the game and also obviously if the game you know gets more intense I'd say that's pretty much that's pretty usable Oh. <laughs> so let's just try something very intensive, which would be uh, God of War. So uh, exit the menu. I'll leave it in this super high resolution and crispness and full screen, first of all, but you'll see that it, it will struggle. Oh, I think I've got a save state for this. Yes, I have. Skip past all the menus. Oh, okay, so that's that's struck. But look, it it looks good. Look. Oh, see, I was I was hoping I could pause it. So this, I would drop it right down to one, and I might even show it in a smaller screen if I was uh, if I was going to properly play it. You can hear the audio is a bit choppy. So let's try it non full screen. Uh, there you go, that's more forgiving, isn't it? And I'll zoom in so you can see it full screen. Because remember the PSP. Is only, I don't know what it is, four inch screen, something like that? Okay, so I need to configure my controller because left isn't, uh, isn't a uh, block. Anyway, I think you can see from that that it's working pretty well even without all the keys configured. Okay, so uh, great work from Jose and uh, Pykus is really coming along. Check it, I check it on a regular basis and also check his YouTube because uh, it's amazing what things are happening on there. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.